Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 31st of March and this time I have some rather interesting comments from Brad Wardell. As well, he made some comments earlier this year, just a little bit of backstory, regarding the PS4, basically saying that it will have its own version of DX12 that players will have to look forward to. But in a recent interview with Gaming Bolt, he revealed that he was referring to the Vulcan API. Now, for those of you wondering, I'm not going to go into too much detail as Crimson Rain, my tech guy, or our tech guy here at the channel, should I say, is going to go into greater detail. But as a rough overview, it's basically a low-level API which is derived from AMD's mantle and basically is platform agnostic, so PC, Mac, Linux, whatever. And basically, this is by the Kronos Group and will provide more control of the GPU and reduces CPO, CPU sorry, overhead. Now, Wardell went on to say, quote, What I was referencing at the time was Vulcan. We're part of the Kronos group and now it depends on who you talk to at Sony and this gets into a debate. Sony has a very low level API already for the PlayStation 4. The problem I have with it is if that you want to make use for it, you're writing some very specific code just for the PlayStation 4. And in the real world, people don't do that right. I write code generally to be as cross-platform as I can. Now, maybe in Unity or Unreal, one of the other guys will write their engines in such a way so that they can make the most of it. But that's going to take time. Whereas if they use something like Vulkan, it's not as low level as their API, but Vulkan has the advantage that it's really easy to write for it. So you're more likely to get developers to code to that and to get more games onto Sony than you would otherwise. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, is there a chance that Sony might actually give support to Mantle going forward, as of course Microsoft is launching DX12? Well, Wardell is apparently not feeling that particular suggestion, as he went on to say, quote, no, because their low-level API is still lower level than Mantle and Vulkan, so what I'm hoping is that they will support Vulkan. Let's say I write a game for the Steam Box and the PlayStation 4 supports Vulkan, the Steam Box supports Vulkan. It wouldn't be much more work for me to have my game work on the PlayStation 4, whereas right now, if I want to develop the game for the PlayStation 4, I have to learn their special custom API that has shader languages that are different than what I'm used to, and I'm pretty sure I have to send stuff into text instead of binary form. I hate OpenGL. They're old. Their current one is just archaic. I don't want to have to learn that. My brain is already full of OS2 and Linux crap. I don't want to learn yet another short-term API. If I can just learn Vulkan, then I can get on a lot of platforms. I don't want to have to learn Sony's special API, even if I would game at a few frames per second in doing so. Now, it would be pretty awesome to see Vulkan support on the PS4, as Brad Wardell said in quite a lot of detail. It would make cross-platform development a hell of a lot easier. Let's say you're an indie dev and you're making a game for the PC and you know that if you write it in X code, at the moment, you to if you really wanted to make use of the PS4's power, you would have to write it in the PS4's API. However, if they supported Vulkan, as he said, you could just write the whole thing in Vulkan and it will write, sorry, it will work on pretty much any platform. So seeing Vulkan support would be really nice, to be honest. And what's interesting is that, well, DX12 is also quite similar to Mantle as well. So, yeah, I mean, Mantle support isn't out of the question, of course, but Vulcan seems more likely given that, well, it has so much potential to just be used on pretty much wherever you like, and that will make developers' lives a lot easier. So, there you have it. As I said, there will be a full in-depth look at Vulcan coming soon. Can't say when because we're pretty busy at the moment with all the games coming out and whatnot, but we will get to it ASAP. But do let me know your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you next time.